So on my Amazon 4K Fire Stick, we can see that I'm accessing the zone for all of that great sports content. Over here, we can see I'm accessing Netflix's Korean library, giving me access to just so much more content. And over here, we can see I'm accessing Crackle TV. Now, as you guys know, because I'm based in the UK, these services are not typically available for me. And if I try to access them, I would then see that message telling me that this library or this application or this service is not available in your region. But as we can see on my Fire Stick, I can now access all of these services without activating any kind of VPN or using any kind of hardware device. I can now get to these services absolutely free. So in this video today, let me show you how you can also follow this process on your Fire Stick or really any Android device. All you need to do is just hit that like button, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So with all of that being said, Let's get started. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. Okay, so before I start the video, let me just quickly clarify two things based on some of the comments I got in my last video. And the first one is that if a service requires payment, like for example, Netflix or Disney Plus, then even if you follow this process in this video, you still have to have a subscription to access that service. What this process allows you to do is to get around those geo restrictions. So if a service is normally blocked for you because you're not in the right region, you can follow this process to access that service. But again, if the service requires a subscription, you do have to have that. And the other one is just to say a big thanks to Ricky Edwards, who actually left a comment in my last video explaining how he got this process working on his Fire Stick. And really that's the beauty of this uh, community that we can share ideas, give feedback, and together we really can make this one of the best communities out there. Okay, so to start this process, we just need to go to my website to download one application. Now to do that, if you open up Downloader and navigate to my website, which is just techdoctoruk.com, or you can quickly type in the short code 534, zero two let's type that in and click on go now when you get to my website if you head over to the hamburger menu which is one of the three lines click on that and then click on tutorials and the latest tutorial in the list will be how to get this process working on all of your android devices let's open that up here we are so here's some information about the plugin and underneath all of that we have two links so this is the browser that we need to install on our device, whether that's a Fire Stick or Android TV device or your Android phones or tablets. We want to install this browser first. Let's click on that. Click on download and install that onto your device. Once you've installed that, let's now press the home key. And here is a new application. Let's open that up. And here is what the application looks like when you first started. So, so you have some shortcut links at the top here and you have uh, some news. Now, the only slight caveat with this browser is that it does require the virtual mouse or the mouse toggle. Now, I know most of you guys have this installed already, and if you don't have it installed, there will be a link on the same tutorials page, but I'm actually looking for a different workaround, basically a different browser, which allows you to use this plugin and at the same time doesn't require the mouse toggle. So if you guys are interested in that, make sure you are subscribed. Okay, so what we want to do here is using the virtual mouse by double pressing the play button. There it is. We want to head over to the three dots on the top right, which is basically like their settings menu. When I click here, we can see that they are using the Chromium backend. So all of these menu items are typically what you see on the Chrome browser. Now, what we're looking for here is where it says extension. So let's click on that. We want to click on from store. Let's click on that. And this now takes you to the official Chrome web store where you can now find all sorts of different themes and plugins. Now, what we're looking for is the stream locator plugin. So let's click on that here where it says search. I can now just type in the word stream locator or one word. Let's click on next. Let's now press back on the remote and there is the extension there. So stream locator geon blocking by the experts. Let's click on that. And on the right here, we can see add to Chrome. Now, the great thing is lots of you left comments on my last video where I demonstrated this process on a Windows PC, that how can we get this working on our Android phones or our Android tablets? 
Now the Kiwi browser is actually designed for cell phones and tablets. So installing this and following the process in this video will allow you to unlock all of those services on really any Android device. Okay, let's now click on add to Chrome. And obviously on those devices, you don't have to use any kind of virtual mouse. Let's click on okay. Give that a second. And we can now see that the icon changes to remove from Chrome because that's now successfully installed. Okay, so how do we now access that? So if we once again go back to the three dots, let's click on that. Scroll down. Now, key thing here, guys, the way you scroll down when you have a virtual mouse is you actually use the forward button. So we can see when I press forward on the remote, that simulates me scrolling down. And if you want to scroll back up, you press the context key, which is the one with the three lines. So let's press that now. So there we can see me scrolling back up and let's go back down because what we want to click on is where it says stream locator. So let's now click on that. And this will now take you straight to the plugin where you now need to activate here. Now activating the plugin is very easy. All you need to do is just enter in any email address. And the great thing is you can really enter in any address that you like. So let's click here. I'm just going to enter in AAA at uh, let's just do test.com and let's now click on start. Give that a second and that should then activate the plugin for you. And when it refreshes, that's now all fully activated. So that's pretty much it, guys. We now have access to all of these services up here and scroll down. And these are obviously the paid services. Scroll down and then we have many of these other services which are typically free or at least free with adverts. Like for example, as you know, Plex has many free live TV channels. Sling has also lots of great free content. Now, typically for these services, if you're not in the United States, that's where you get those geo restriction messages. But as we can see, for example, if I want to access Crackle TV, I can just click on that. This will now create a new tab for me. And again, without me activating any kind of VPN or anything like that, just clicking on that tab we can see I now get access to all of this great content in this application. And just for a quick test, if I want to watch something, uh, let's just look at this uh, action channel, click on play, and that starts streaming straight away. And of course, if you want to, you can click on this icon down here just to make it full screen. And that's working absolutely fine. Okay, let's back out of that. So for example, the zone has some amazing sports content, but you really need to be in the right region to access that content. So uh, for a test, let's just say uh, we're in Canada, click on that, give that a second. I can now click on the zone. And if you look at the address bar, it actually says EN dash CA. So it does think that we're based in Canada and we can now access all of this uh, content in here. Of course, you do have to have a subscription, but again, using this process means we get around those geo restrictions. So overall guys, a great plugin, absolutely free. I don't know how long it's gonna stay free for, but for now, we can see in most cases, I can access all of these different services, these different libraries, things that would normally require you to be in certain parts of the world, but using this plugin, we can now enjoy all of this content absolutely free. So that's all for this video, guys. Many thanks for watching. Do leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think. And I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.